breaking news. What? My producer just sent me a very important paper. <gasps> the SpaceX shuttle has successfully launched it out of space. And from what I'm hearing, it also docked at the International Space Station. This goes perfectly with episode number five of the Daddy Daughter Science Show. Welcome back to episode five of the Daddy Daughter Science Show. What are we going to talk today on the show about? Today we're going to talk about how rockets work and what they do. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'm so glad you can join us for episode 5. Daddy, what's a rocket and how in the world do you get it to outer space? Well, Sayla, a rocket is a type of delivery system. And what they're typically used for is to deliver either type of cargo to folks up in space and the International Space Station, or they deliver satellites into space. And the last thing that they do, which is what Elon Musk and SpaceX just delivered, is they put two people from Earth into uh, the space station by successfully docking at uh, the International Space Station. So, that rocket was called the Dragon. Hey, they named theirs a Dragon. What would you name your uh, rocket if you had one? I'd name mine Una for Unicorn. Daddy, I want to know more about rockets. Can we go deeper into this rocket business? I want to have some more rocket research. Sure, Sayla. So, rocket works off the, the Newton's third law, which is every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So, to give a quick demonstration of that, we're going to take this balloon. I'm going to blow some air in this. So, while I'm doing this, so the air is being held in here by the elastic, the rubber band of the balloon. When I let the, the balloon go, the air is going to be forced out the bottom of the balloon. Therefore, the re that's the action. The reaction is going to be the air is going to then push the balloon away from us. That's wow. Newton's third law. All right, so basically a rocket is a very complex piece of machinery. But to break it down, there's really only four major parts. The body, the nose cone, the fins, and the exhaust. So the nose cone or the payload compartment is where all of the whatever's going in space is basically up there. It's the people or the cargo. The body is what holds all the internal components together. Do the people fins, go in the body? The people go up here in the nose cone. Oh. The fins are what basically steer the rocket so as it goes up to make sure it's it's on its right trajectory. And the last thing is the exhaust. This is where Newton's third law comes into play. This is where the reaction the action hits the force or the ground, and then the opposite reaction is pushes the rocket up. Daddy, it looks like the rain is holding off. Sorry, folks, we gotta get to the launch pad. Hurry, Daddy, go! Here we are at today's launch site. The weather isn't ideal, but we're clear for takeoff. This is our launch pad. I have a bicycle pump now, and I'm gonna go ahead and start to pressurize our bottle. When I put the water into the bottle, uh, that's going to be our fuel that's going to push the water out of the bottle as it rises into the air. Let's get started with this rocket launch. You recording? <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Back away! Now we're going to try the big rocket that we made out of PVC earlier. Sayla, what do you think it's going to go high? Do you think this is going to go higher or do you think the, the plastic two liter bottles are going to go higher? I think this one's going to go higher even though it's heavier because think about the real rockets. They're like way more heavier than this. This is just a model we use. So they're way more heavier than this and they blast off all the way to outer space. So I think it's gonna go pretty high. We'll see. 10, Ten nine, 9, 8, eight 7, six, six, five, four, three, three, two, one, one blast, blast off! off. <laughs> Marin, stay here. Marin, um, Johnny, go stop. Sayla, I found this old encyclopedia to find out some more facts about rockets. 
You mean we don't have to do research on the computer? Shocking, I know. All right, let's see the this. The old days. Here's one. It's about space rockets. We should read it. Yep. The first rocket was launched on December 18th, 1958. That was even way before I was born. And put the first... Communication satellite. Hmm. In space. Some people today... Oh my gosh, you're not going to believe this. Live in space. Isn't that amazing? And this is the Daddy Daughter Science Show. And I have two little sisters and an awesome mom. This house is basically on girl power. Sorry, Daddy. So I wanted to know who the first woman was in space. The first woman in space was a Russian back in 1963. Her name was Valentina Triskova. Girl power. Another interesting fact too, Sailor, the first animal in space was a fruit fly back in 1947. They didn't make it back. Oh. Also, looking back on the two results, the PVC pipe rocket and the bottle, the two liter bottle, the PVC rocket didn't go as high as I'd hoped. I was really hoping to kind of get up to outer space like SpaceX. But sometimes experiments don't work out the way you want them to. That is true. Well, anyway, thanks for watching episode five of the Daddy Daughter Science Show. Give us a like, comment below, oh, and most of all, subscribe. See you next episode. Bye.